All right, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Tommy. I'm back with another video. Man. Hey, look, I know y'all wanted to see a rebounding wing build. You know what I'm saying? The best rebounding wing build. But honestly, this build right here is better than a rebounding wing. And what I mean by that, it's like the same pie chart, literally the same stats. How you would make a rebounding wing, just a different name. All right, so this build is called a three level score. You could pick so many takeovers. You could pick sharp, lock, glass, and slasher. All right. I don't even think a rebounding wing can get slasher takeover last year. So this is kind of a first. Now look, there's two lock sharp pie charts. Don't choose this one. This one is not better than the other one. The other one you can get more badges and better stats. Alright. So the other uh defending and sharpshooting pie chart is this one. This is the one from last year. This is the one you're gonna want to choose. When making this alright, so look, when when making this build, you can choose any pie chart you want. I'm gonna go with speed. And you want to max out the first three things and no, the first four things in finishing, the first three things in shooting, and then you want to max everything on your defense. On this build, you don't want to touch playmaking at all. It's more of a spot up build, you're not going to be trying to dot or dribble or nothing. It's more of a spot up build. And as you can see, you get seven finishing, 15 shooting, and 21 playmaking. Now, how you want to do the last upgrade is up to you. You could put the nine on a shooting and then get 16 shooting. Or you can put the nine on the finishing and get nothing. All right, so obviously you want to put the nine on the shooting, get the 16. Like I said, the bash spread is pretty nice. Seven finishing, 16 shooting, 21 defensive. That's pretty good. And I will go build. Now, this year, you know, the taller you are, the more they ruin your stats. So this is why this year, if I were to make, you know, a rebound and wing type build, I will go 6-8 because the taller you are, the more bad your stats are but look uh peep the stats you know what i'm saying 84 defensive 75 offensive rebounding 83 block 79 still this i mean in my opinion this is a pretty good build now look if you go 6-9 because i know a lot of you guys want to go taller look if you go 6-9 just look at the stats you get a higher offensive rebounding and block but the steel is low the lateral is low the perimeter defense is low it's it's, it's a sacrifice and the three point is low. And look, it's even worse when you go 6'10. You go 6'10, look at the stats. It's the block, the uh, the last three in defense is good, but everything else is bad. You get a 67 3, I mean, you should be able to shoot with that. But yeah, this build, like, all right, and let me show y'all 6 7 so y'all can really get, get a glimpse of how good when it comes to like height and stuff, like how, how good stats are when it comes to height. Look, if you go 6 7, you get a higher three, a higher driving dunk, a higher lateral quickness, a higher perimeter, a higher steal, but you're sacrificing rebounding block. I just want to show you guys, like, when creating builds, what you what you sacrifice when you want to change something or, you know what I mean? Like, whenever you create a build and you make it a certain height, weight, everything, you're sacrificing stats and stuff. Like, you're sacrificing a lot when it comes to build. All right. I just want to show you that. That's why, in my opinion, I will go 6'8 this year. 6'8, I'll probably go 200 max wingspan. Of course, I'll always go max wingspan. So you still get a 75 driving, a 73 pointer, a 79 still, 83 block. Like, it's, pre it's a pretty good build, bro. Pretty good build. And look, you get four takeovers to shoot from. Literally, you could get a slasher takeover with this build, which is kind of different. Wasn't expecting that. It's still pretty cool. You get sharpshooter takeover glass i mean honestly i want i don't know what i will go with this year um i want to i probably want to try slasher i want to go something different let's go with slasher as you can see it doesn't say rebounding wing but it says three level score but if you really look at the building the stats and how it's made it's literally made like a rebounding wing it just that doesn't have the name but in my opinion i would suggest making this build over the rebounding wing because that pie chart, this build right here is better than a rebounding wing pie chart this year, in my opinion. If you were to ask me, that's what I would say. All right. Now, if you guys want to know what badges I would use with this build, let me show you guys right now. It depends. Like, you guys know, Fancy Footwork last year was really OP. Toy Slash at Playmakers last year really used Fancy Footwork. If this badge is still good again this year, then I would use it. But if not, then I'll probably just go Contact Finisher. And then consistent finisher and probably like mm, the only you're left with one badge honestly i'll probably just put it on i'll probably put on giant slayer because i know with this build i'm going to be guarding centers and stuff so i'll probably put on giant slayer and then the shooting 
And I'm so happy 2K took out Quick Draw because you're not wasting a badge point on Quick Draw. So for shooting, definitely Rain the Stunner. Oh yeah, this book is Hall of Fame shooting. So Rain the Stunner, Catch and Shoot. Um, let's put Dead Eye on Gold. I'll go on Hunter. Let's put that on Gold. Honestly, I'll probably go like this. You don't even need some of these badges on Hall. Honestly, this shooting badge lineup right here is pretty good. You don't need all Hall of, like you don't need all these on Hall of Fame. Honestly, if you have Hall of Fame Rainy Center, should be straight. You're gonna be able to shoot anywhere with this Hall of Fame, and then with the goal with other shooting badges, you're gonna be shooting just fine. And this is why I suggest making the making this build over the rebounding wing, bro. You get way better stats and more badges. Better badges. Now for playmaking, you, you guys all know how it was last year. When it comes to playmaking, if the build can't speed boost, if the build can't dribble, the only playmaking badge you need is quick first step. That's it. That's all you need. You're gonna be able to do what you need to do with that. Alright, now for defensive badges. Now, here's the tricky part. When it comes to defensive badges, there's so many different ways. To, there's so many different play styles on defense that are alter the badges. So, I can't really say the best badges because it comes down to, like, what are you guarding? Are you guarding the pick and roll? Are you guarding ISO? Are you guarding the paint, the perimeter? Like, there's so many different... Look how many different defensive badges there are. So, but the best universal defensive badges, in my opinion, that work for any type, like, whatever you're trying to do... Intimidator, we're gonna put that on gold. Clamps on gold. Pogo stick, you guys know how good this bad was. Let's put that on. Actually, let's put this on Hall of Fame. Put this on gold. Now, I don't know if this year is gonna be exactly like last year, because last year you only need a run protector on bronze, to be honest. But I'm gonna put that on gold, because I don't know. Let's put rebound chase on Hall of Fame. And. Since you're, I'm going to be guarding centers, I don't need a pick out here. I'm not going to be hitting screens. I'm going to be guarding the center. You know what I'm saying? The most of the time. Stopping, you know, the cut, stuff like that. Now, you can either go like, you could go like, like bronze chase down or bronze interceptor go chase down. You don't need interceptor more than bronze, all right? If it's like last year. If we're talking about in terms of last year, this is all you pretty much need. You don't need interceptor more than like bronze. And yeah, y'all, this is the build, um, you know what I'm saying? You can choose your jump shot right here, let's see. But yeah, this is the build, y'all. In my opinion, this build is better than a rebounding wing. I know you guys probably wanted me to make, like, a rebounding wing type build. Now, it, this is literally a rebounding wing type build. Same pie chart, you know, similarly bad to similar stats. It's just different name. In my opinion, I don't, I think this build right here is better than a rebounding wing it just gets more badges and stats i made the rebounding wing on the other pie chart the first pie chart or not the first the last one the defensive pie chart at the all the way at the bottom i made a rebounding wing with that pie chart and the stats just wasn't good enough the three was a six the three was in a 60 the badges wasn't enough i don't know i feel like every year 2k always ruin it for small force but I feel like this build is way better than rebounding wing. As you see, I'm 6'8", but if you really look, I look like I'm 6'10". Like, I look way taller than 6'8". Like, I look way taller than 6'8". If you look, you will see I look way taller than 6'8". But, yeah, this is my build, y'all. Um, If I were to make a rebounding wing type build for next year, I'll make the three-level score. And I, I, I would make the three-level score... And I'll make them the same way I made them, like 6, 8, max wingspan, the same, like, everything. This build, I, this is, this could be, I'm not saying it's going to be my, this could be my main build, but this could be one of my actual builds, like, next year, like, one of them. I know I'm making, like, multiple builds, but this actually could be my build for next year. It reminds me of my rebounding wing from last year in terms of, like, you know, stats and badges, but this year, rebounding wing stats is pretty bad, so I'm not even going to force, I'm not even going to force it and try to make a rebounding wing video and try to throw it out there if it's not a good build, y'all. So, this is why I didn't choose, like, this is why I didn't make the rebounding wing, y'all. This year, they're just, the rebounding wings this year are just not that good, in my opinion, like, the stats-wise. So, I feel like this build is better. But, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think about the build, y'all. If you think it's a W or L, if you made it this far. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell. And sub if you are new. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.